Hi, I'm Brady Shaminsky with Hardy North America, and today I'm gonna to show you how to rebuild an M70 controller. Anytime you're dealing with any spare components that have had chemical ran through them, we highly recommend wearing proper PPE. In this case, we have rubber gloves, a face mask, and a jumpsuit with long sleeves. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using all new components that have not had chemical ran through them, so I will not be wearing any PPE. The tools needed for this repair are an O-ring pick, a 13 millimeter wrench, two 10 millimeter wrenches, and our Hardy M70 repair kit. In this repair kit, you'll find two different sized springs, three large O-rings, two spring guides, a spacer unit, two valve cones, an O-ring for the on-off lever, a wear plate for the M70 on-off lever, a half inch flip valve, and two different size O-rings. We won't be needing the on-off valve or the O-rings for this repair. The first step is we're gonna unscrew this regulator all the way out to take the pressure off the spring. And then we're gonna remove our six 10 millimeter bolts. Next we'll be disassembling the housing and removing our spacer plate. Inside of our housing we have our spring with our spring guides. We can discard that. We'll start assembling our new spring with our spring guides. And we can install that back into our housing. Next, we'll replace the O-rings on the spacer unit. After we've replaced the O-rings, we always want to use a little bit of lubrication. In this case, we're using Crisco vegetable oil. Next, we'll remove our 13 millimeter nut, our two valve cones, and our spacer. We will be reusing these washers, so keep those separate. The next step, we'll be replacing our last large O-ring, and we'll be installing our new O-ring and wear plate for our on-off lever. We'll use our vegetable oil as lubrication again. using this spring. So our small ring is down inside there. And then we'll replace our wear plate.
next we can reinstall our housing. And then we can install the valve cones and the spacer. washer in between each valve cone and spacer. Finally, we can reassemble our housing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on how to rebuild your M70 controller, please contact your local Hardy dealer. Also make sure to subscribe below for more Hardy service related videos.